Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having an awesome day. So it is time for another empties video. I have a bajillion products right here ready to go and I'm in cleanup mode right now. So it is going to feel so good to recycle all this stuff. Plus I have a haul video coming up so I need to clear out space anyway. So as always, we're going to kind of go in wash day order. So this is actually a sad empties video because this may be the last time that you see this in one of my empties and it's made an appearance in every single one. I have been using this product longer than any that I have used my entire life. I think we're going on like 10 years at this point. I've probably gone through about 200 bottles in my whole natural life um, and I'm going to miss it so much. I think it is officially discontinued. I haven't seen it in like 6 months. And it is the BO5 Tea Therapy. I've talked about this so much on my channel. This little cheap bottle has been so, so helpful in me detangling my super duper uber tangled hair. And I'm always going to miss this stuff. I hope BO5 changes their mind, almost dropped it, and brings it back, but it's not looking like it. If you happen to see it in your area, try it before it's gone. The slip on this is amazing, and the fact that it has no silicone and it has this much slip is amazing. So, in tribute, I want you guys to see all these bottles. I don't think I have any more in my house. I might though, knowing me. But in this empties, we're like eight bottles strong. So yeah, goodbye, deal fun. I love you always. So another discontinued product, and I think this is the last of this that I have as well. So this video is just a mix of old favorites and random stuff I have been meaning to use up for the longest. And um, this one right here is the Tresme Naturals OG Tresnatch Conditioner. Silicone free, awesome. Most of you already know about this lovely, great silicone free option for detangling my hair does wonderful also as a pre-poo so much slip really good moisture I think this this is my last bottle I'm pretty sure so yeah I will miss both of these so so much it is ridiculous but all is not lost because I think my current favorite pre-poo is the suave everlasting sunshine conditioner I've been using this I think now for two or three years makes a phenomenal pre-poo Lots of slip compared to the other two has a lot more moisture as well. And for someone who has super duper dry hair, the more the more moisture, the more moisture the better. So this stuff is great, smells awesome, very very moisturizing, a ton of slip. So I am really happy that I do have a backup to replace those two in my stash going forward. They just better not discontinue that. They are getting an email if they do. So really awesome pre-poo. So if you guys remember this, that would be amazing because back in like 2006 on the Naturally Curly Hair Forums, the Curl Talk, if you guys are like, have been natural for a while, you might know what I'm talking about. This was like one of the hot items that everyone loved. It was like $17 a bottle, all different hair types, curl patterns, you name it, really enjoyed this. And it's a really great product. And for some reason it got discontinued back then and Big Lots had them for like a dollar or $1.50 and I stocked up so I think I got like 20 or 30 bottles and after all this time this is my last one another really great pre-poo it was nice and thick conditioning moisturizing and had a really good slip and the bottle is making my face like <laughs> super duper red okay and y'all I know um my camera I don't know if the sound is going to be better in this video I hope that it is but this camera is like I think going on eight years old it's broken. It's a hot mess. I'm hoping to get a new one for Black Friday this year. So I'm hoping this thing holds out on me at least for another few months. But yeah, there's going to be probably a lot of color changes and weird sounds in my videos until I get a replacement. So I do hope um, that it's not too, too distracting. So another pre-poo that I have that's also not made anymore. What in the world is this? Like, greatest hits empties video? I don't know. The Shea Moisture Purification Mask. Another huge favorite among so many people. I know that I heard that it's still being made, but I compared the ingredients on the back of this to what is being sold in certain Walgreens stores, and it's not the same. Um, this was just on a whole nother level. It saves me so much time, and I do have one more jar of this, thankfully, that I'm going to cherish on the last day that I use it. 
but it saves so much time because it's a cleanser because it has kaolin clay in it detangler pre-poo deep conditioner this is just a one step for me on wash day and then i can rinse it out and go into styling my hair and it just saves so much time and it's just so good and i don't know why they stopped making it but anyway this stuff is just on a whole nother level of awesomeness another item that i have here is a conditioner that i also use as a pre-poo they used to be my one of my favorite products when i was natural the first time from like 2006 to 2010 i believe yeah i really really enjoyed this it's silicone free really affordable good size and for it to be a fairly inexpensive product it had mango butter fairly high on the list so i was really impressed with it i will miss this stuff really good pre-poo thick nice moisturizing good stuff also a really good base for deep conditioning if you want to add like honey and oil to it so another really great product and this one actually has a teeny tiny bit left in there so i'll probably end up using this up tomorrow because tomorrow is definitely wash day for me so i'll probably use this up to pre-poo and, it, and it's the yes to cucumbers color care conditioner um i don't see the yes to brand as much anymore as i did a few years ago yes to carrots was another awesome conditioner that i do see a little bit more but i haven't seen the cucumber stuff in in a minute so this is just another really good thin slippy uh pre-poo conditioner that i use in my routine on my dry hair to detangle because i go through a ton of pre-poo as you can see in my hair routine that is definitely my most used category these days i can take down one of those bo 5s in um, a per wash day i can go through a bottle so yeah cleansers i don't have many cleansers this month the first is the she scented blueberry co-wash this doesn't clean my hair for anything but the slip on this was out of this world i've heard the formula has changed so i don't know what the new version is like but this was one of the slippiest products I've ever tried. It smelled good. I'm trying to see if I can capture some little last uh, remnants of it. But it smelled really, really delicious. So not sure if I'll get the new version. I haven't heard too much good things about it. But this was amazing. So another cleanser that I have here is the Heavenly Hair Creations Black Soap. And I ended up using this on my hair and it did a really great job. It has this nice minty effervescent peppermint oil type of feeling that i just love it left my hair feeling very clean but not stripped which is awesome so i do still have my code for 25 percent off the entire line until september so i'll post the code as well as the last date for the validity of the code um up here somewhere and also post my review of the line as well really awesome solid product and this felt so good on my scalp i actually wish i had some right now because my scalp is pretty itchy lately and wash day is tomorrow so yeah really good stuff and i think oh i forgot a co-wash a co-wash a um pre-poo and it's the shea moisture um raw shea butter restorative conditioner the one that everybody says is like one of the worst smelling lines from them i think the high porosity mask takes the cake there but yeah this made a really awesome pre-poo for me didn't like it as a conditioner it has a multifying wax really high up on the ingredient list which my hair doesn't usually like in some products it really responds well to which i have one right here but yeah really good pre-poo left my hair very very soft and detangled so another i think we're all done with cleansers so next is deep conditioners some things i have here like this one aren't traditionally used oh wait it does say for deep conditioning okay cool yay so I've talked about this a little bit on my Instagram and on Facebook, I think. And it's the Jane Carter Nutrient Replenishing Conditioner. I was sleeping on this, you guys. I tried it a few years ago and it was like blew me away. But for some reason, um, hashtag product junkie life. I totally forgot about it. And I recently pulled this back out and review coming very soon. But this stuff is on just, as far as the slip meter is concerned, it's like past it this has so much slip it's freaking amazing it doesn't have any silicones which is always a plus in my book because my hair isn't a huge fan of them um but it's got other good stuff like green tea sage sunflower oil it's got some protein in there which my hair really likes and this is just so good can't wait to show you guys what my hair looks like after rinsing this stuff out amazing i'm gonna even come up with a 32 ounce it's just it's so good 
the deep conditioner that I have here blew me away the first time that I tried it. And it's the Earth Tones Naturals Curl Condition Intensive Hydrating Deep Treatment. This stuff is awesome. I talked about this a little bit in my last video. And it's one of the best deep conditioners I've ever tried. It left my hair feeling so soft and hydrated and just like it really penetrated my strands. Like even after I rinsed it off, it felt good. Because my hair, it takes a lot for the moisture to actually last. And this is one of the few deep conditioners that really felt like it did something to my hair that was like long term. So good. Really want a full size of this and to have it as a staple in my routine. Another deep conditioner that I have that I don't love so much is the Natural Grow Sweet Greens Moisture Rich Conditioner. This is the one that I said is like salad for your hair because it's got really cool ingredients. Um, it's got ginger root, carrots, spinach, broccoli, avocado oil, burdock root, honey. So on paper, I thought my hair was going to absolutely love this. Really cool ingredients. I like honey, but it just kind of was blah for me. It didn't give me any slip, no real lasting moisture. I have heard that there are some other things from this line that are good, so I would definitely order from them again. They're on Etsy and try something else, but so far, um, this is definitely not one of my favorites and I won't be repurchasing the Sweet Greens. Another deep conditioner that, um, another product in general that I've had for a while in my rotation is the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab Moisturizing Deep Treatment. This is a product from them that comes in either the Gardenia or the Strawberry Ice Cream Scent. And this is the Strawberry Ice Cream Scent, I think. I love them both. I've ordered them both in like the big 32 ounce from the Curl Junkie website. And I really do like it, but I don't feel that it responds the same on my hair, which makes me really sad because this used to be a staple for me. So going forward, I don't know if I will repurchase it. Um, it, still, it still left my hair feeling very soft, but just not the way that it used to. So my hair might be just, um, I don't know, just not, not gelling well with this anymore. But I do recommend to try it because it's very, very hydrating, very moisturizing, but just something about it. I think it's more so my hair than anything. Um, maybe just not having the same love affair that it used to, but yeah, awesome ingredients, smells really good. So I might dabble around for a little bit. I think I have like the big size of the gardenia one left. So I'll play around with that and see what my hair thinks. Now this one is Mabu, the Miel Organics Babasu Oil Deep Conditioner. This is, I think, think my current favorite deep conditioner and that is so hard for me to say because I love deep conditioners and I've tried so many but this just never fails me when my hair is feeling weird as it is right now I think we're on the cusp of a weird hair moment like I do uh, tend to have every few months my hair just doesn't want to act right so when that happens I pull this out even more frequently than I normally do because number one it feels so good on my scalp I love that minty feeling it has strengthening as well as moisturizing properties and it just makes my hair feel very healed and nourished and soft and I need some softness because my hair is feeling very very dry and prone to uh, breakage right now which I'm not into so yeah love this stuff another deep conditioner is the Sultanicals Manoi Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Hair Dip and the thing that was really impressive to me about this one is that it's protein and glycerin free and I know I have a lot of subscribers who are protein sensitive or whose hair isn't a fan of glycerin so I do love the fact that this is free of both of those ingredients since it's kind of like in so many products nowadays um, so with that being said I didn't love this one uh, I didn't find that it was very moisturizing for me or had a lot of slip so this is in the category of they offer free shipping at $50 and my total is like $42 and I just need something to get me over the cusp to get that free shipping. Then I might get this again, but it's definitely not a staple or like an immediate repurchase, but it's not bad. Another one here is the deep conditioning mask from Darcy's Botanicals. Now this used to be on the same level as the Miel. They used to be hand in hand. But the last time that I tried this, I feel like the consistency is a little bit different than it used to be. It's a bit thicker, and for a lot of people, that would be a plus. But my hair tends to like runnier deep conditioners. It seems to penetrate my hair better. Um, usually the thicker the product, the more it feels like it just sits on my hair. Probably has something to do with my porosity. Um, I still am kind of confused about the whole porosity thing, even after all these years and reading lots of articles about it. So 
I feel like my hair is not high porosity or low porosity. I think it's a combination of both, but it's not normal porosity. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. So my hair tends to like thinner deep conditioners, and this one just felt a little bit thicker than I remember it being. Still did a really great job, but it's not in the HG of HG category that it used to be. So this is my strange little emulsifying wax um, love letter deep conditioner basically. And it's the True by Mate Beautiful Intensive Treatment Mask. They are now sold in Walmart, which I think is awesome, as well as Walgreens. You can find this a lot more places now other than Sally's, which is cool. This is emulsifying wax, I think is the third ingredient. And that is usually one of my no-no ingredients that my hair hates makes it feel very weighed down and like there's a film on my hair and I just haven't traditionally had good luck with it but something about it in this formulation it just works for me um I've heard that the line in general is so good even better than the deep conditioner so I need to get to using the other stuff that I have from them because I think I have almost the entire line so yeah if the line is better than the deep conditioner I already love the DC then I'm really excited. So yeah, really solid deep conditioner and they have sales all the time during the holidays. And last but not least for the deep conditioning category is the Kinky Cashmere Infused Hair Mask. I featured this in my last video um, and if you haven't checked that out already, I'll post it in the little eye up here as well. But it's my kind of off the beaten path deep conditioners that you don't hear about all the time in the interwebs of the natural hair community. And this stuff is so good. This is another one where if my hair is not feeling its best, I can always count this to make it feel worlds better and get it back on track to feeling healthy and looking healthy. Really great stuff. Plus it comes in 16 ounces, which I love. So next is protein treatments. And the two that I have here are kind of like funny because one replaced the other one. And the first that I have here is the Curl Junkie Repair Me Reconstructive Hair Treatment. This stuff was my HG protein treatment since, oh my goodness, since before the second time that I transitioned. So I have been using this probably since 2008 and it always did such a phenomenal job. And the reason that I love it is because it has so much slip and so much moisture in addition to some pretty serious proteins that I could use it as my deep conditioner and my protein treatment without having to follow up with a moisturizing conditioner because this was so moisturizing on its own. It saved me a step, which I always love on wash day. And it just made my hair feel so good. I used this after I colored my hair the two times I did it by myself. And it's just awesome. The only thing that's not so awesome about it is the price. This bad boy is 12 ounces for $29. And the way that my hair is now, I can get maybe two and a half uses out of it. So not very cost effective. I always got it on sale because I just couldn't bring it in my soul to pay $29 for 12 ounces of product. Um, but this is a really awesome conditioner um, slash protein treatment. It's awesome. So if you are protein sensitive, but you've colored your hair or you straighten it frequently and you want to still infuse some serious protein into your hair without it being too much, I would definitely recommend this because it has so much moisture and it's silicone free, which I always love. So as many of you know, the item that took the crown away from the curl junkie is the Apogee 2 Minute Reconstructor, not to be confused with the 2 Step Protein Treatment. This is just a nice quick way for me to help stop breakage in its tracks. I actually need to do this probably in about 2 or 3 weeks, um, probably after I trim my hair next. But yeah, it's awesome. It really helps with my breakage that I have been getting. I've been using this for about a year, year and a half, I think. You can find it at Sally's. I think Target carries it as well. And I love it. If you need something that's going to really help when your hair is feeling damaged, this is the one. So next up are my sprays. So next up are sprays. The first one that I have here is the Shea Moisture Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler. I wouldn't say that this is super moisturizing. So the way that I normally use sprays is I will spray them on my hair when it's starting to get dry as I'm styling it. So I don't like for my hair to be soaking wet when I'm putting leave-in conditioner and gel on there. 
but I do need it to be pretty damp for me to actually move the product through my hair easily. So rather than use water, which my hair for some reason doesn't like <laughs> as I'm styling, I'll use one of these sprays because they usually have a really good mix of humectants, oils, and things that my hair really likes. I'm probably going to honestly keep the bottle such a nice strong spray, which sounds kind of weird, but it just disperses a lot of product on my hair. So rather than recycle this one, I think I'm going to keep it and just reuse it and put other stuff in it. Now my favorite spray is the Obia Naturals Curl Hydration. This stuff is awesome. It's got a really great mix of ingredients like glycerin, purified water, rose oil, and argan oil. And it's a very short ingredient list too, so really good stuff, smells awesome. This actually feels like it's doing something to my hair rather than just getting it wet for styling. It makes it feel very soft and moisturized and my dry hair likes this as well as a refresher. Leave-in conditioners. My favorite leave-in conditioner of all time is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit 10-in-1 Rinse Out Conditioner. Uh, I found this big one at Ross's, which was cool because it was like six bucks. Um, so I have used three of those up since my last empties video. This is filled with like water and like a little last bit of conditioner because y'all already know I don't let any drop go to waste. So I'm just using this to again keep my hair moisturized and uh, nice and damp when I'm styling it. So continuing the discontinued theme of this empties video, the Pure Body Naturals Sapoti Hair Lotion in the Tahitian Vanilla Scent. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. You guys, I love this stuff so much. Oh, I can still smell it. So Pure Body Naturals went out of business. I loved this company's Black Friday sale. They had like a either month or two month long buy one get one free sale on like their most popular products. And I will always get the Sapoti Hair Lotion and the Maru Maru um, Hair Styling Lotion. I believe it was called. I'm sure you'll see it in a future empties video. But this is a, this stuff is so good. Um, pretty much all the products that I'm going to talk about from here on out, hair related, the creams and stuff, I use as leave-in conditioners, moisturizers on dry hair, and even stylers sometimes. For example, I used to use this as a moisturizer on dry hair and also retwist my hair when I wanted to squeak out a few more days before having to wash it, and it just left my hair so good. It also leaves um, my nephew Kingston. His hair is very fine and curly, and this is one of the products that works really, really good on his hair, so I'm going to miss it so good. All these products, I'm not going to get to get any more. I'm so sad. Um, so another item that I have here is the Mop Top Bamboo Essence Leave-In Conditioner. I did a tutorial on how I do my twist on dry hair. Um, I'll link that up here as well if you'd like to check it out. But yeah, this is a really great product. I used to even get it at Target. I don't see it there anymore, so... It must not have done too great, so now it's not sold in those stores anymore. But um, the company is still up and running, but it was really nice being able to just go in and grab it off the ground. So another one here is the Sultanicals Slip and Slide Not Proof Hair Glide. Not Proof Hair Glide. This is supposed to be more slippy than the Knot Sauce and the Moisture Guru Mango Dip. No, Mango Dip Moisture Slip. I think is what it was called. And this stuff has so much slip, just like the name entails, but it left flakes in my hair. So I haven't tried it since this bottle. I'm going to give it another go to see if it was a, you know, a weird fluke or something. But this is good. So if I can get it to not leave flakes in my hair, then it would be an HD because the slip on this is freaking awesome. Next is the Darcy Botanicals Sweet Cocoa Bean curl smoothing cream. I am getting some of this for Black Friday. It's so good. I think I used this in my medium twist tutorial, which I'm going to be returning to um, probably after the middle of September. I have a friend's wedding to go to then, but after that I'm into serious protective styling mode because I think my hair just needs, I need a break from it as well. And those last me like two to three weeks. And this is just very, very thick, moisturizing, and awesome. My hair doesn't usually like thick products, but this is thick in the best way. I love it. And it smells like cocoa pebbles. Delicious. Next is the Sultanicals Curly Grail Pumpkin Coconut Styling Cocktail. This was in the Fall Quail Mint Bundle. And I'm going to be doing a review on the entire Fall Bundle before the next one is released, which is the Fall one, of course. So I'll be doing a review on all the bundles. For the next year leading up to the release of them if that makes sense so for every season now that i have all four 
I am going to be doing reviews of them to kind of see what my favorites are, what I would recommend, and kind of show you um, some information about them. So this is great. This is supposed to be an all-in-one product that you can use as a leave-in, a styler, a butter, a cream, kind of everything, which is why they call it a styling cocktail. And I did really like this. I use it as my solo product, so anytime I can do that, again, help me save time on wash day, I love it. So continuing the sultanical theme, I also use the Can't Believe It's Not Pumpkin in the same way. This smells so good, like fall in a jar. I loved it. All the creams do really well for me as leave-in conditioners or stylers. Really good. And also, joining the Sultanicals crew is the Can't Believe It's Not Cocoa. Use it the same way. It smells like pure chocolate, which is usually not my favorite scent, but it just smells so awesome in this. And again, another great leave-in conditioner, styler type of deal. Very lightweight, but moisturizing at the same time. And this is what I used last week in my hair the Marula Maru Moisture Guru and the packaging and formula has changed since then and I liked this the first time that I used it but my hair just isn't feeling it this time. I don't know why it feels soft. It's very frizzy and dry so it's a weird dichotomy there. Soft yet dry. So I do like the new version a lot so I'm not too sad that this version has changed now. And some items that I don't even know if this company is still in existence. But it is the Mozeki. I used to love Mozeki, but just her Black Friday issues. One of my first videos with this fancy camera, I talked about my issues with Mozeki one Black Friday when I didn't get my stuff for like a month and a half. So I have the Sweet Almond Pudding and the Whipped Avocado Cream, and I have a lot of other products from her, but I just used these up um, when I ran out of my leave-in conditioner, so I'm glad to be using them and recycling them after so much time. Also the Basque Condensed Custard. This is technically a body cream but it smells so good and I like the consistency that I um, also use this up as a leave-in conditioner when I ran out of the one I was using one wash day. And I did pretty good for it to be not intended for hair. And let's see, this is such a random empty video. I'm like going down memory lane with some of these. This is, who is this? I can't read this. Heritage Hydration Cream of Broccoli. So this is basically just a cream and it had broccoli seed oil as one of the main ingredients. I really liked it, but the size is really small for what you get. And um, I won't be repurchasing, but it was pretty cool. The Camille Rose Almond Jive Twisting Butter. The formula has definitely changed since this came out. This is their original packaging. And the Almond Jive Twisting Butter was one of my favorite products for a really long time and I just need to try the new version but from what I've seen I'll probably like it just as much as I do that one. Continuing in that vein is the Camille Rose Moisture Butter, another awesome product from them. This one's also changed so I'll be trying this one as well. It's a lighter version of the Almond Jai and makes a really good leave-in conditioner. Next is the Marie Dean Coconut Detangler. Super random, just use this. Uh, to slick my hair back in buns and stuff just to use it up. Marie Dean is not one of my favorite um, companies. They are not as moisturizing as the descriptions and ingredients led me to believe my hair needed a lot more slip and hydration. But the scents are good. I like the ingredients, but they just don't do it for my hair. Plus, they are pretty pricey. So, my last order with them, I did a pretty big order and I'm still working my way through using them up. But I probably won't order from them again. This is not the right fit for my curls. Uh, this is the Kinky Cashmere All-in-One Conditioner. I love this on dry hair. Um, the All-in-One is very, very true though. You can use this as a leave-in conditioner on wet hair. You can use it on dry hair and also as a rinsed out conditioner. So, really good product. This one was kind of so-so. This is the, um, oh my gosh, my contacts are blurry and I can't remember the name of this company. I like literally can't read. What is this? I'm having a brain fart, but I will annotate it up below. But it's the um, Murakuja Milk. Wait, it's coming back to me. This is the Beige of Flora Naturals Murakuja Milk. I love the packaging. It's so sleek and sexy and cute. Um, but this is not my favorite product. I love the creme brulee from that line. One of my favorite butter creams. It's so good. It's another all-in-one where I can just apply it to twist in my hair and it looks phenomenal but this was okay I used this um, a, 
week ago used it up on dry hair and it left my hair very dull and ashy looking but the twist out from it was really good so i don't know what happened there but yeah this is not a repurpose for me even though the ingredients are really good it just didn't work out too well as far as moisture and flip is concerned i needed a lot more for me to get the hydration that i normally like in my hair and this is the sorenzo styling frosting this was okay not enough moisture didn't really like it as a styler also from earth tones naturals is the curl quick hair butter i use this as a sealant but it also has water so i also use it as like a moisturizer on the day when i got that will go down in history is one of my best styling sessions 17 day hair love this really really great product and we are i think this is almost all of the hair stuff and then just a couple little body items um so now for mostly stylers curly magic y'all already know this is like hg of hgs for me just we go way back love this stuff wash and go savior great on twist outs great on dry hair and they have a salon size now that's like 32 ounces i'm coming for that for black friday such an awesome awesome size i can't wait shea moisture sacha inchi lock and twist gel i'm not gonna read the whole title but yeah i like this a lot from my rod set it was very very thin so it was the perfect consistency for me to get the shape from the rods on dry hair though is creeping up in the holy grail status and the label's almost gone but it's the darcy botanicals uh, what is this y'all these contacts are killing me softly i can't natural coils curling jelly um, I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, this stuff is so good. It's another very, very thin gel, but it's more moisturizing than the Shea Moisture one. And this is the one that I like to use for my twist on, um, my medium twist. It does so good because it's very, very thin and it helps to really hold those curls. I don't like to use my super pricey gels like the Curly Magic for styles like that. So this is perfect. I hope it comes in a bigger size. I'm totally getting more for Black Friday the stylers category the last is the earth tones naturals curl defining uh curl enhancing jelly again very very impressed with the earth tones naturals products 17 day hair i need more of this in my life another item in the sultanicals fall bundle is their nappuccino hot oil coffee amino if you like the smell of coffee then you're gonna love this it smells just like freshly brewed coffee i don't use it as a hot oil treatment i applied it to my scalp and did like scalp massages and then i also use it on my ends and length of my hair for some shine and softness really good product the curls blueberry bliss hair growth oil usually my hair loves just about any oil that i apply to it but for some reason this one just didn't do it for me as i mentioned in my review it smells delicious like blueberries just like the name entails I don't smell it anymore but yeah this just kind of did nothing to my hair didn't leave my hair shiny no softness really i applied it to um my hair with a deep conditioner mix didn't really do much that way either so this is definitely not a repurchase and the sultanicals raw shea butter reconstructive elixir i use this mostly on straight hair but I can use pretty much any oil and straight hair and it'll be good. I just like the fact that this was lightweight and that it came in a spray, so it was pretty convenient. And I've also used it to pre-poo, add shine, slick my hair up, but it doesn't leave my hair super duper soft like some of my other oils and it doesn't smell the best, so yeah. And now for non-hair products, Shea Moisture, Sacha Inchi Hand and Body Scrub. Didn't like this scrub really, doesn't smell great. And I like my scrubs to have like a good amount of oil mixed with the scrub. I feel that makes my skin the optimum level of like silky soft and smooth. And this had not very much oil in it. So I didn't feel like it was a little bit hard to distribute across my skin. And it didn't leave me with that lasting softness and super smoothness that I like to get from my scrubs. So this one was a blah for me. And likewise the body wash um shea moisture body washes are what i've been using for the past three years i think as my body wash i just kind of rotate the different fragrances or versions and this one was you know whatever it didn't smell good um it didn't leave my skin soft it cleansed of course but definitely not my favorite um as far as scents goes 
and a few different sheet masks, the Yes to Coconut paper mask. This one left my skin feeling soft, didn't really do much else. This one also from the Yes To, this is the Tomatoes version, the Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask. Um, this one was so-so, didn't really do anything, neither of those are my favorite. Um, I also used this um, Aloe Mask from Etude House, the packaging is so cute on these, and it just left my skin nice and soft and hydrated, so I did like this much better than the Yes To one. And that is my empties. I have one bag here that's totally full and uh, I need to get a second one for the other half of stuff that I have here. So yes, everything that I have a full review on, I will post down below. I think the majority of this stuff has reviews. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do have a haul video coming. As I mentioned, I'm just waiting for two more packages. So yeah, use up the stuff just to make room for more. <laughs> so I'm really excited to share with you what I got and also my skincare routine should be up really soon as well. The next couple of weeks or so I'm aiming for and with fall coming really soon, you know what that means, Black Friday will be here before we know it. So I want a variety of different product reviews coming out as we are getting to all those great sales that are going to be here really, really soon. So. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm about to go peel these contacts off my eyes because I can't see anything right now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.